The Facebook marketplace is hands down one of the best selling channels to sell on today. And in this video, I'm going to guide you guys from A to Z, how to drop ship on the Facebook marketplace from the moment where you're uploading your first listing, how to find the best products to sell, how to sell them on the Facebook marketplace, add in automation so that you can scale your stores and really profit well. So if you like being the early birds before the competition arrives, now is the time and this is the video for you. Quick intro and let's go. What's up everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. My name is Liran from AutoDS. I'm the content manager and I've also been dropshipping for the last several years. And in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how you can dropship on the Facebook marketplace. Not only will I be teaching you guys how to do everything from A to Z, I'll also give you a quick glimpse into my Facebook marketplace account so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing on that account, what products I'm selling, how much I'm profiting so that you can copy the same practices on your Facebook marketplace stores. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin this video. One second before that, if you are new to our channel, this is the kind of content that we deliver along with suppliers, marketplaces, product research, dropshipping strategies, interviews, success stories, and so much more. Click that subscribe button, enable those notifications, and let's go. Most of the things that I'm going over in this video, you'll be able to read in the blog. Right below this video, I'll leave a link to that. But do stay tuned in this video because I'm offering so much more valuable information than what you will be able to read below. So let's start from the beginning. What is Facebook Marketplace dropshipping for those who don't know? So dropshipping is a business model where you can fulfill your orders and simply run and manage an online store without the burden of buying and holding any inventory. So it's really easy to get started in this type of business model and that is because it requires no initial investment. You only pay once you get paid but what you do need is the right knowledge and that is exactly what I'm passing on to you in this video. So dropshipping is that business model where you can fulfill orders without holding any stock you upload products from your supplier and you only pay once you get paid. You purchase the product once you get a sale and you ship it directly from your supplier to the customer. Now, the next question that people usually ask is how to find products to dropship on the Facebook marketplace. One second before we get to that, I want to talk about the requirements for a second. If you don't live in the US or you don't have a US IP address, and a social security number, it will be very difficult for you to dropship on the Facebook marketplace. And that is because you won't have the shipping options when you're creating a new listing and the shipping options will allow 50 states in the US to be able to see your listing since you can ship out to all of them. But if you don't live in the US, Facebook will not enable the shipping options for you. Then you'll only be able to select a specific location where you can list your product on and not so many people are going to see that listing. So if you don't live in the US or if you don't have a US IP address, and a social security number for verification once you hit $500 in sales. You should not consider dropshipping on the Facebook marketplace at this time, but I will definitely keep you guys updated if I hear any news that this is now working for international sellers. So US IP address, social security number, those are the two requirements to begin dropshipping on the Facebook marketplace. Of course, you're going to need a computer and internet connection and the will to learn. How do I find products to dropship on the Facebook marketplace and not just any products, but the products that will sell will make us some profit because that is what we are here to do at the end of the day. So let me show you exactly how I find my products and I'll even show you in a couple of minutes my Facebook marketplace account, which products I'm selling, where I'm getting them from because everything that I'm doing is exactly what I'm teaching you. I want you guys to succeed with your dropshipping stores too. So this is exactly how I'm doing it. But one second before that, make sure that you've got your Facebook marketplace account active on AutoDS. Let me show you how you can do that so that you can really automate your store, add products in just a couple of minutes instead of taking much more time than that. And also automating your price and your stock monitoring so that if something goes out of stock on your supplier side, the product will also go out of stock on your Facebook Marketplace store. And if there are any price changes, the price will also change accordingly on your Facebook Marketplace store and on your AutoDS account. This is a must for anyone who wants to have lots of listings without refreshing their suppliers pages every day to see what's going on with the stock and the prices. Those people who really want to scale and make great profits, it cannot be done without automation. So this is how it is done. First, let's head to the AutoDS platform. If you don't have an AutoDS account, simply head to AutoDS.com register for your account, get your one week for only $1, give it a try and see if you guys like it. 
I'm sure that you're going to like what you see, especially when you learn how to drop ship the right way. So first things first is you wanna make sure that you have your Facebook Marketplace subscription active. So once you're inside, click on settings on the left side, then go to plans and add-ons. And here, make sure that the Facebook Marketplace plan is active. Once you do that, on the left side, once again on top, click on your stores or click on add store if you don't have any stores yet. Then click on add store right over here. And you'll have an option, an eBay store, Shopify store, or a Facebook store. In this case, we are going with the Facebook selling channel. So click on Facebook store, enter your store's name. And I won't do it now because I already connected my store, but just continue with the setup process. It's actually very simple. And once your store is added, you'll be able to see it right here on the left side. So again, I'm going to click on my stores and I've got my store right over here. So this is exactly how you're going to add your Facebook store right after you add the Facebook Marketplace plan. Once you do that, you can start adding products through AutoDS and then simply upload it to the Facebook Marketplace. Let me show you how that is done. Before that, we're going to see how to find the best dropshipping products to sell on the Facebook Marketplace. So let's go ahead and have a look. Here is my personal strategy for finding products to sell on the Facebook Marketplace, the products that will sell. Now, the biggest advantage that we have here is that it's definitely an untapped marketplace, which means not a lot of people are dropshipping on it right now. So you don't have to do any competitor research at all. And this is one of the best things that I love about this. You don't have to see what your competitors are doing. You don't have to try to copy other people's practices. You can simply go to your suppliers pages, go to your suppliers websites, see the best selling products and start adding them to the Facebook marketplace because no one is selling them there. And the target potential audience is simply sitting there waiting to see those listings. Let me show you what I mean. So you can choose from one of AutoDS's 25 plus suppliers, any one of the suppliers that you want to choose, just go to their websites, find a best selling product and add it to the Facebook marketplace. I'm going to do it with one of my favorite suppliers, which is Amazon. And this is how it's done. Remember guys, I'm going to show you my Facebook marketplace account which products I'm selling. And these are the same exact strategies that I'm implementing on that store. So first thing that I'm going to do is either head to the best seller section, or we can even go to movers and shakers where we got the most trending products from the last 24 hours. And we even have other places, but let's go ahead and start. So as you see here, we've got the best sellers. We've got movers and shakers and new releases is also a good idea if you know which products and which categories are selling well and you want to get the newest items from that niche. In this case, let's go to movers and shakers because this is really the most trending products from the last 24 to 48 hours and you can always find some hidden gems over here. And here I'm going to go inside a dropshipping category that is fit for the dropshipping business model and let me show you exactly what I mean by that. So let me go back to the blog really quick and if I just scroll down a little bit, here I have all of the categories that are not fit for the dropshipping business model. So you know what to stay out of, what types of materials, what types of products you shouldn't be selling. So here we're talking about adult products like sex toys, medical products like band-aids, antibiotics, ointments, pain relievers, medicines, etc. Misleading, violent or hateful materials like a t-shirt with a hateful message. Ingestible supplements like vitamins, protein bars and the like. Alcohol, so so anything that's in liquidated form in general is not really good for the dropshipping business model, but you still can sell soft drinks and things like that if you want. I personally have never sold them, but here we're talking about alcohol. So anything that has to do with beer, rum, don't sell it. You can sell accessories to alcohol, but don't sell the formula itself. Recalled products, so products that are not new, products that are, that are new or that got recalled, don't try to resell them on the Facebook marketplace you're simply going to get into all kinds of troubles when you try and any product that violates the Facebook community policy. So there's a link to that once again in the blog below. Click on that link, go to Facebook's commerce policies and see exactly what types of products they don't want to see on the Facebook marketplace. But besides that, you can pretty much feel free and the best dropshipping categories are the ones that I'm going to show you now. Now let's go over the categories that are really good for the Facebook dropshipping business model. So Amazon devices is not good. Launchpad isn't good. Appliances, you can find some things there, but let's go into the nitty gritty. Let's really get deep down into the good stuff. Apps and games, not really. Arts, crafts and sewing, yes. Audible books and originals, no. Automotive, you can sell automotive, car parts, things like that, but don't sell the automobiles themselves. So you can sell pretty much anything that has to do with automotive replacement parts repair parts and the like. Baby products are also great. Just stay away from things that are hazardous, 
things that have a choking hazard, don't sell things that are dangerous for babies, but there are more than enough baby products to sell. So make sure that you have a clear mind of what you're selling before you're selling it. But once again, there's a lot of trending products in the baby category. Beauty and personal care, also a great category. So do stay away from before and after pictures. So things that assume what will happen after you take this product. Stay away from those things and keep it simple. Books you can resell, but might not be the smartest idea because anyone knows how to find a book at a cheaper price anywhere else. CDs and vinyl, stay away from that. Lots of trademark, lots of copyrighted. Cameras and photos products, also not so good. Cell phones and accessories is a great category to dropship on. Just don't try to dropship the cell phones themselves. It's harder, there's trademarked and copyrighted over there. But if you do sell the accessories, you will have lots of sales on that. There is more than enough accessories. There are millions of them. You just need to drop ship the right ones. See which accessories are selling hot right now and try to resell them. Clothing, shoes and jewelry is also a great category to drop ship, especially jewelry. Clothing and shoes is a little bit difficult because you got the whole sizes thing going on. So you have to show the customer exactly what sizes you have, what sizes will fit them and be ready for a return if the size doesn't fit the customer. So clothing and shoes make up for maybe just a couple of percent of my dropshipping store, but I do dropship jewelry quite a lot. Just make sure that the customer knows exactly what material it is so he won't think that something is real when it's fake. Collectible currencies, don't dropship that. There's nothing to do there. Computers and accessories is a great category for dropshippers. Do not try to dropship the computers, but do dropship the computer accessories. So keyboard, mouse, anything that goes alongside the computer, all kinds of things that you can have around your office table, speakers, things like that. But once again, stay away from trademarks, stay away from copyrighted, and don't try to dropship the computers themselves because your buyers will expect to have a one to three year warranty. And you're only going to offer what a 30, 60 day warranty returns. And I've also seen lots of problems with people dropshipping computers and then the customer opens up a return and returns something else in the box. So that is a very dangerous category, but the accessories are perfect for the dropshipping business model. Digital things, stay away from digital products. Electronics is great. Let's just go on with what we can and skip out on what we cannot. Handmade products, you can definitely find things over there. Health and household, definitely fit. Home and kitchen, great. Kitchen and dining, wonderful for the dropshipping business model. Musical instruments, also great. Office products, patio, lawn and garden, pet supplies, sports and outdoors, tools and home improvement. That sums up the categories that you do want to dropship. So make sure that you are dropshipping in the right categories. Now let's go inside and find a product to dropship. So I'm going to head over to home and kitchen. One of the categories that I told you guys that is great for the dropshipping business model. Now what you want to do is keep diving down into the subcategories inside the main category that we just clicked on. So once again, we're in the movers and shakers, which is the top trending products that we have inside the home and kitchen niche. So if I scroll down to home and kitchen, as we can see, there is no subcategory under home and kitchen, so we're going to stay here. So, movers and shakers, the top trending products in the home and kitchen category in the past 24 to 48 hours. So, let's see what we're seeing here. We've got this product, which I know is trademarked, so I'm going to stay away from that. Bug zappers are great. Expendable garden hoses are also great. So, let's actually go for one of those. And yeah, guys, it's that easy to find products to sell on the Facebook marketplace. That is why I definitely encourage anyone who can dropship on the Facebook marketplace to go ahead and try it right after watching this video. So this is the product that I want to add to my store. One of the products that I want to add, I know that it's trending hot right now. I know that people are not selling it on the Facebook marketplace. So I'm definitely going to get these sales and enjoy the profits from that. What I'm going to do next is make sure that I've got the Facebook dropshipping helper extension installed. This is a Chrome extension. It doesn't cost any money. All you need to do is download and install it to your Chrome browser. So back to the bug zapper. I want to add it to my Facebook marketplace store. There are a couple ways to do it. The first one is to click on the import to AutoDS button. This button over here will always be on top of the product titles inside the product pages. And the reason I'm seeing that is because I also have the AutoDS dropshipping helper Chrome extension installed. So that is another Chrome extension that will help you while you are dropshipping. So we've got two extensions overall, the Facebook dropshipping helper extension and the AutoDS dropshipping helper extension. Each is responsible for its own tasks. So in this case, one extension is giving me this button over here. That's the AutoDS Chrome dropshipping helper extension. And the other extension will simply help me copy the products to the Facebook marketplace. So one way to import this product is by clicking on this button and that will simply add this product 
to the draft section of my AutoDS store. And then through AutoDS, I will import it to the Facebook Marketplace. That is a simple way to do it. The other way to do it is to copy the buy URL or ID. So what I'm going to do is simply take this whole URL up here and copy it. Then I'm going to head back to AutoDS and click on add products. Here I can start adding products to my Facebook Marketplace account on AutoDS. It will not affect my Facebook Marketplace store just yet. So here I can simply paste that by URL or ID that I just copied. So that is another way to add products. Here I can add it as a draft. And that is the same as simply clicking on the import to AutoDS button here. The product will simply land in the drafts page. So here, make sure that you're publishing to the right store. So if you have multiple stores, click on the pencil icon and click only the relevant store that you want to add this product to. Then make sure that the supplier settings down here are correct. In the advanced options, I will not allow out of stock variation. So if something is out of stock, there is no reason to add it. There is also no reason to upload variations because it is not supported on the Facebook Marketplace just yet. We don't need to autofill the brand. That's it. So in this case, I'm not going to accept any advanced options and I'm going to add this product to my draft page. So let's click on add as draft. Now it's being added as a draft. Click here to track the progress. So let's give it a couple of seconds to add that product to the drafts page. I can click here on view details and check out the upload process, the import process how long it's going to take to complete. So let's just give it a couple of seconds and see what happens. Okay, now the process is complete. As we can see here, this product that we just got from Amazon or from any supplier that you chose is now complete, which means it is on our drafts page. So let's exit here and head over to the drafts page on AutoDS. So here we go. This is the bug zapper. And as you see, we are on the drafts page right now. So what I'm going to do now is click on this arrow to open up the item editor. And here I'm going to start editing this product, start optimizing it so that it will look good on the Facebook marketplace. First, I do want to touch and optimize the product's title. So I'm going to delete the brand name and keep only whatever is relevant. So I know that I have up to 100 characters here and right now I'm on 155. So let's narrow it down a little bit, cut down some words that we just might not have to use. So here we have a good optimized title for this product. The keywords are good, they're relevant. So the first thing that I'm going to pay attention to here is the product's title. I can also optimize it on Facebook, but it'll be much easier and better to do it from AutoDS first. Next, we've got the product's description. This one we're going to optimize on the Facebook Marketplace anyway, because we're probably going to have some spacing issues over there. So let's skip that for now, or you can go ahead and edit it if you want. But in any case, we are going to have to optimize it through Facebook anyway. So here we're going to click on save to save our changes so far. Now here we've got the variance and this is what you need to pay attention to. AutoDS is going to get all of the information from the product's variance and copy that onto the Facebook marketplace. Let me show you what I mean. So we're going to click on edit on the variance and in the variant settings, you're going to have the pricing settings and the general settings for this variant. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. In the pricing settings, you have the fees, which is how much Facebook is taking from each transaction. And the answer to that is 5%. Let's talk about that one really quick. So for every transaction that you're going to get on the Facebook marketplace for every sell, Facebook is going to take either 40 cents or 5% from the transaction price, whichever one is higher. And as you can see here in the screenshot in front of me, I took this from one of the products that I sold on the Facebook marketplace, which cost $2. So in this case, 5% was not as high as 40 cents. So in this case, Facebook took 40 cents. But as you can see, the selling fee is either 5% or a 40 cent minimum. In most cases, we're going to pass the 40 cent value. So we're going to get charged 5% for every transaction that we have on the Facebook marketplace. So that is our break even settings. So let's head back to AutoDS. And as you see here, the fees are correct. So in this case, if we're paying Facebook 5%, we want to make another 15% profit on top of that. So a product that costs $36.99, which is the case for that bug zapper, we're going to have to sell it for $44.78 in order to make a profit of $5.55, which is a 15% profit margin from the original price. Now AutoDS is doing all these calculations by itself, but what you do need to do is make sure that the fees are correct. So you can either edit them here in the edit variance page, or you can go to the settings on AutoDS. So let me exit here for a second, click on settings, and in the store settings, make sure that you have your Facebook store selected. And in the supplier, make sure that the right supplier is also selected. You can add more suppliers if you want to add more supplier settings. 
in advance. So as you see here, we've got all of the 25 suppliers that AutoDS supports today. In this case, I'm going to stick with Amazon because that's where I'm adding this product from. So here I'm telling AutoDS every time I add a product to the Facebook store from Amazon, here are the pricing settings that I want. So I'm going to click on the pricing tab. And as you see here, the fees are 5%, which is exactly what we just saw in the variant settings. Additional profit in percentages, 15%. Additional profit in dollars, you can do that too if you want. And you've got more pricing settings and pricing automation if you want that done for your Facebook Marketplace store. But that is not really relevant for now. Let's go back to the product in the drafts page. Open the editor again. As you can see, the title stayed as I optimized it before. The description too. I'm going to head back to the variants and click on edit. So we saw the pricing settings, everything over there looked good. Then you've got the general settings, which has the item weight, the buy ID from our source, which is Amazon in this case from the United States and so forth. So what you wanna do here is copy the variant settings so that we will be able to paste it on the Facebook Marketplace store. So the only thing that we did up until now was find the product from one of our suppliers. You can use any one of the 25 suppliers that AutoDS supports, tens and millions of products to choose from. Just go to the best sellers, see what's selling hot right now and sell that on the Facebook marketplace because no one else is doing it. Once you do it, you will notice the sales and profit and you will understand just how untapped this marketplace is and how much profit you can have here. So once again, the only thing that I did up until now was get a product from the supplier and add it to AutoDS by clicking on add products and pasting the buy URL or ID, then adding it to my drafts page. I went to my drafts page, optimized the title, optimized the description a little bit, and I went to the variants over here, to the variants column. The next thing that I'm going to do is you see this icon over here to copy. I'm going to click on that. You see here it says copy to clipboard. So I know that everything inside this variant was just copied to my clipboard. Now I can easily list it on Facebook. Let's see how that is done. So here is my Facebook Marketplace account, which I promise you guys, I will give you guys a glimpse. So here are some of the products that I'm selling. Let's get to that in a second. Right now we are creating a new listing. So I'm going to click on create new listing. Then I'm going to click on item for sale. Now, remember that I talked to you guys about the categories that you cannot drop ship, products that you should stay away from. If that is still lingering around in your minds, don't worry if you're a beginner, start adding products to your store. Add those best sellers that I showed you guys, get it from any one of the suppliers. And if you're trying to import a product that is not allowed to be resold, AutoDS will give you a warning that something is wrong with this product, whether it's the manufacturer, whether it's the brand, or maybe it's a little keyword inside the product description, which isn't so important. You can just delete it and move on, but that will give you a much better idea of what you can and what you cannot drop ship. So pay attention to those error messages when you're importing products that you are not allowed to resell. And that should give you another layer of protection from knowing what you can and what you can sell and not worrying about importing products that you cannot resell. Now let's go back to this. So what we did was we went to the variant and we copied the variant settings after optimizing it on AutoDS. Now we want to list it on the Facebook marketplace. So we headed on to Facebook to the marketplace. We clicked on create new listing. And as you see here, we can start adding all of the listings properties, but instead of copying the title and moving all of the images and the prices and the description and everything else that comes along with it, that will take so much time. The only thing that I'm going to do is click this button over here, paste info from AutoDS. Now I'm just going to sit back Wait a few seconds while all of the information is being transferred from AutoDS to the Facebook Marketplace. Alrighty, so just a few seconds later and all of the products information was imported from AutoDS to the Facebook Marketplace, as you can see over here. So we've got the optimized title and we've got the product's description, which does seem like it was spaced out in not such of a bad way. I'm definitely going to optimize that a little bit. But as you can see here, we've got the title, we've got the description, we've got all of the images that transferred from the supplier to AutoDS to the Facebook Marketplace. You can add more photos if you see fit. So as you see here, we've got the title, we've got the price, which was also pulled from AutoDS. Now we're going to choose a category. We've got some categories that Facebook already recommended and it makes sense. Let's go with patio and garden. The condition is new, so I'm just going to leave it like that. The product description, I'm going to optimize it a little, a little bit just to get rid of all of those extra spaces that Facebook adds in just to make it look better for the customer. So if you look on the right side, you can see that slowly the product description is looking better and better. Continue deleting all of those empty spaces 
and make your listing look optimized so that your customers will know exactly what they're seeing. They, they'll know exactly what they're buying. It won't look amateur. It won't look unprofessional. It'll look like a real store or a, a real business that's trying to sell their products and high quality products at that. So fix all of this, make it look good. Continue scrolling down. Once you finish up with your product description, you can add more variants if you see fit, but at this point, we're not going to do that. There is no variations for this product anyway. Then fill in the rest of the information that was not filled in automatically, like if you got a color. I don't recommend using any brand, so just keep it like that. You can write branded if you want or unknown. This way, it'll make it harder for them to simply search for the same product using other suppliers. Most won't do it, but even those that do, it'll be much harder for them to do it now. Then your material and the SKU if you have it. And once you are done with that, you're going to click on next. Now, here is something that's important to talk about, the location. The location, you can use any location in the United States because what I just did was I took, I took a product from the US and I'm shipping it to the US. Now, this is really important because on the Facebook marketplace, you want to ship out your products on time and that is up to three business days after getting your order so once you get an order you have three days to ship it out and just a couple more days after that to have it delivered to the customer take it up to one week not any more than that and the reason for that is because facebook sends surveys to your buyers after they buy from your store and they ask them how was it to buy from you if you're going to get many negative reviews one after the other because you're not shipping out your products on time or the delivery is taking way too long because you're trying to drop ship from china to the us for example then your store is not going to last that long on the facebook marketplace but if the customers are getting their products on time you're shipping it out in a timely manner and they're getting exactly what they ordered your store is going to survive for a long time for the long term and you're going to make some great profits along the way so drop ship from the us to the us when it comes to the facebook marketplace which suppliers to drop ship from i'm going to also get to that in just about a minute we've got plenty and more than enough us suppliers to work with an auto ds and we're always working on adding more so once again drop ship from the us to the us when it comes to the product location use any location in the us and the delivery method this is the most important option because this option is going to have your listing available to more than 50 states when you have the shipping options enabled if you don't have shipping options enabled, as you see here, I'm offering shipping and local pickup. You can choose shipping only. But what's important here is to make sure that you've got the shipping options available. And that is because, once again, it's going to show your listings to 50 states. So, so many people are going to see your listing and so many people are going to be able to buy from you. If you don't have shipping options, that's probably because you're not located in the US. And as I've mentioned in the beginning of this video, you have to be located in the US, have a US IP address and have a social security number ready because once you hit $500 in sales, Facebook is going to ask for a social security number verification and you're going to have to pass that too if you want to keep selling on the Facebook marketplace. So shipping options so that many people will see your listing and that it will succeed in selling and you will make profits at the end of the day. Shipping method, you want to use your own shipping label. So make sure that you're going to click on use your own shipping label. Shipping rate is going to be free free shipping for our buyers because we are drop shipping from places where shipping is either free and even if it's not free then in the pricing settings on auto ds where i showed you guys a couple of minutes ago you have the option to include shipping price and that means that if your supplier is charging x for a product and another y for shipping auto ds is going to combine those prices together and make sure that you're going to profit your 15 20 30 40 percent whatever you have set even with that shipping price so you'll always be able to offer free shipping and therefore in this case you're going to turn on free shipping for buyers okay so everything here is set we're going to click on next and last but not least facebook is asking you do you want to list this product to some of the buy and sell groups that we see that you joined and in other groups that we see that you haven't joined, maybe you want to list that product there too. So this is a great way to get more organic traffic, more people to see your listing. So I definitely recommend to add it to buy and sell groups. So make sure that you read the rules before you join. And once you join those groups, start listing that product in those groups too. And that way you'll simply get more people to see your listing. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to leave it as is. And right before I click on publish, I want to talk about this little drop down menu here for a sec because I didn't talk about it before. Right now, I don't have any products on this drop down menu, but what this means is if you have products on the AutoDS system, like we see over here, this is all the products that I have on my Facebook Marketplace store. But if I have products here 
on my auto ds menu on my auto ds screen and i don't have them on the facebook marketplace i will see that product here on the drop down and what it's telling you is hey We've got the product here on AutoDS, but we see that you don't have it on the Facebook Marketplace. So if you want to import that product, simply choose that product here from the dropdown, paste the info from AutoDS, and we'll make sure to add the product from AutoDS to your Facebook Marketplace account. So that will simply help you synchronize your products and make sure that what you have on AutoDS, you also have on the Facebook Marketplace account. Now, if you haven't set the Facebook dropshipping extension yet, this will be the time to do it because once you install the extension, you want to make sure that it's connected to your Facebook account. So make sure that you clicked on it. The first thing that you're going to see is what store you want to synchronize this extension with. So you're going to choose your Facebook store. You'll have it on the drop down menu. And then the extension will ask you, how often do you want us to synchronize the products on AutoDS and make sure that you also have them on the Facebook Marketplace store? So in this case, you can sync it every 24 hours or every seven days. Then you have your logs. Here you have all of the changes or everything that the extension did, you can read it right here in the logs page. So if there's any errors that you wanna show the help section, the, the, the live chat, the support, they can simply see your log over here. You can send it to them. And another thing that you wanna see is here on the settings icon, click on that. Then you'll have the store that you're connected to. So if you have a few stores, you can choose which store you want to make this change to. Then you've got your update every where you have don't sync one hour, three hours, 12 hours and 24 hours. This is how often you want Facebook to synchronize your prices and your stock. So in this case, I'm going to leave it on one hour. And what this means is every hour on the clock, AutoDS is going to check all of my prices and all of my stock status with my suppliers. If there are any changes when it comes to prices or stock, AutoDS will update it on AutoDS and also on my Facebook store. So once again, no more refreshing supplier pages, no more wasting hours and hours of work to see what changed in the price and in the stock with my supplier, with the products that I have. So put that aside, AutoDS is going to automate all of that for you. And in this case, we're gonna do it every one hour, click on update, and that is all you have to do with the Facebook extension. Leave it alone, let it do its work, let it paste your products from the AutoDS system to the Facebook Marketplace, let it automate these things for you. So that is how to find products from the Facebook Marketplace. Once again, 25 suppliers, millions and millions of products simply add the best sellers. I showed you guys how to install the Facebook Dropshipping Helper extension. I showed you guys also how to use the AutoDS Helper extension if you want to import your products in just one click. Now let's go ahead and publish that product. So head back to Facebook. Everything here is correct. Of course, I'm going to optimize the description a little bit, but I just want to show you guys how it's going to be listed. So now I'm going to click on publish. Here are the steps once again. I found the product from one of my suppliers. I added it to AutoDS. On AutoDS, on the drafts page, I optimized the product's title, the description, and then I went to the variant settings and I copied the variant. And by the way, don't forget to also import the products to your products page, which I will show you in just a second. So right before or right after you import the product to your Facebook Marketplace store, make sure that you import this from the drafts page to your products page so that AutoDS can really monitor the stock and the prices. So what we did was we simply went to the variant. I'm just taking it back really quick. Here is the copy variant. And then we simply pasted it on the Facebook marketplace when we created a new listing. It is that simple. That is all there is to it. And you're saving so much time along the way, not to mention the price and stock monitoring. So once I'm done here, and as I can see here on Facebook, my product has already been listed. Here it is right here as one of my newest listings on top of the list. Now, what I'm going to do here on the drafts page is simply make sure to import it to the product section of my store. So right now it started the import process and it's going to move from drafts to products. And in just a couple of seconds, I'm going to see it right over here, here on top. As you see, all of the products that I have here are the same products that you see on my Facebook Marketplace store right here. So let's talk about that really quick. Now I'm creating a case study for you guys on this account from day one, when I first created this account and all of the steps that I took when it comes to where I find the products, how I add them, even though I showed you it in this video, but more things that I went through in this account. So you really will be able to see from day one, how I grew a Facebook marketplace account from zero listings to 50, 60, 70 listings, more as the days progress. It's on, this account has only been alive for about a week, maybe a week and a half, and I had over 20 sales here. I have a VA that's helping me, a virtual assistant, that's helping me run this store because I simply don't have the time. So if you guys have the time, first run your business by yourself, 
And after you learn all of the ins and outs, get a virtual assistant to help you add products, help you with your customer service and so much more. So in this case study, you guys are going to see in depth all of the things that I went through on this Facebook Marketplace account. So here I just wanted to show you that here is the product that I just, that I just added from AutoDS. It really took me only a couple of minutes, maybe a little bit longer because I did all of the explanations along the way. And all of the products that you see here are all of the products that you see here on my products page on AutoDS. So these are the products that I'm selling. And here you can see the products that I've actually sold. So I'm going to click on shipping orders. Here I've got 11 products that are waiting to be shipped. So my virtual assistant already processed these orders. We're just waiting for a tracking number. And here are the products that I already shipped. So as you see, there's one product that's repeating itself, and that is this Warm Crotchet Hooks Art Aluminum Soft Grip Crotchet Needles for Crotchet Yarn Craft. This product is selling actually pretty well, and I'm making some nice profit from selling just that one product. So let me just show you what that example, how much profit I'm making from each time I'm selling it. And adding this product is just like I added the other product that I showed you guys, the same process, same exact thing that I'm showing you guys is, is exactly what I'm doing on my dropshipping store. So let's find this product really quick and understand, just get a small glimpse of the amount of profit that we can have here. So here is the product. I'm going to open its variant. And as you can see, it's being priced right now at $15. And that is exactly how much it's being sold by, $15. And before that, I was selling it for $13, as you can see here. But I noticed that it's selling more and more, so there's no reason to not make any more profit, especially since we don't have any competition. No one is running after me, and no one is copying my products. Maybe you will copy it after watching this video, but I definitely urge you guys to add products yourselves without copying other people because in this case there is no competition and there is no reason to create competition right from the start. Simply add bestsellers and watch them sell, do a lot of product testing, that will definitely help you understand and even start your own selling trends and not try to copy off of others. Okay, so how much am I buying this product for? I'm selling it for $15 and as you can see I'm making a profit of $3.77 for each order when I'm selling it for $15 and buying it for $10.48. So let's see the product where I'm getting it from. In this case, it is once again Amazon. So I'm going to click on the supplier here on AutoDS. It'll take me straight to that product. As you can see, it costs $10.48, which is exactly what we are reading here. When I edit the variants, you can see that the, that the buy price is $10.48. That cannot be changed because that is what we can see on the supplier's page. We also have another 10% coupon on this product. So that's another 10% profit that you are making. So $10.48 selling for $15. After 5% fee, do the math. You will see that it comes up to $3.77. So even if we pay some tax here and it, come, and it can come up to 10%. So let's say $1 tax. Okay. So if you're paying $1, then instead of making $3.7, you will make $2.7 per item. And that is in the worst case situation. And once again, you have another 10% profit. So that brings back whatever you paid on tax. And once again, our profit will be back to around the three and a half dollar range. So we are keeping this profit and I've sold this product how many times now? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times ever since I raised the product to $15. So seven times three is at least $21 that I made off of this product, off of just one product. And I sold it more times before for $13. But that's just a small example of the profit that you, that you can make off of one product. I've even had products where I made over $100, over $200 profit on just one product. And I simply don't copy other sellers. I try to find my own trends. It's much easier to do that here on the Facebook Marketplace. So that is a small glimpse of things that I'm selling on the Facebook Marketplace and how much profit I'm making with the help of my VA. Now, when it comes to virtual assistants, let's talk about that for a second. Once your Facebook store is up and running, you're getting sales, you're making profit, it is now time to add a virtual assistant to help you scale your store so that you can invest your time doing more things that will make you more cash, more profits at the end of the month. And don't get stuck. Don't limit yourself to only a number of tasks per day that will simply help you from growing and limit yourself from expanding. So what you want to do on AutoDS, click on settings, then click on users. What you want to do here is add a new virtual assistant. Here is my virtual assistant and you can give any type of control that you want to your virtual assistant. So in the beginning, if you don't trust them so much, you can simply allow them to maybe view and edit your active products, but maybe not list new products or maybe let them list new products, but not view and edit the current ones, view and import on track listings, your drafts, 
your orders and so forth. So in the beginning, what you want to do first is make sure that you have virtual assistance accounts enabled in your subscription plan. So we're going to click on plans and add-ons and make sure that VA users is enabled. Once that is done, go to users and click on add user. Here you can add the information for the VA that you want to add. So what you're going to do here is give your VA a name, whatever his name is, email address and his designated password, and then give him control for one of your stores some of your stores or none of your stores don't add the VA. And here you can simply give him control over what you want him to have control over. So once again, you can let him view your dashboard, edit your products, delete your drafts, edit your orders, handle customer support, view and edit your settings and so forth. Then give him the email address and the password. They will go to autods.com, log in, and they will have access only to exactly what you gave them. And this will definitely help you scale your stores. Remember guys, you're limiting yourself if you don't have a virtual assistant that's running on your stores. But first, make sure that you know how to manage your stores. Make sure that you are getting sales making profit so that you can pay the VA and scale your way from there to the top. So the last thing that I want to talk about is how to help you guys automate your orders as much as possible because order automation is not available yet for the Facebook marketplace. But once again, we've got the price monitoring, stock monitoring, an easy way to import your products from your suppliers pages to AutoDS and from AutoDS to your Facebook marketplace stores really in no hassle, just a couple of minutes. And on top of that, how to find products and how to go about all of the settings and make sure that the listing comes out nice in the end. Let's check out the listing once again. I don't think we went inside, so your listings. Let's open that bug zapper and see how it came out. So here it is, as you can see over here. If we click on edit listing, I'm, do I'm going to go back to that editing screen. You can delete the listing from here, but if you do delete it from here, then make sure to also delete it on AutoDS. You can click on view listing to see how it looks from the customer's point of view. And here we go, it looks really good. It doesn't look like it only took a couple of minutes to add this product or even less. And as you see here, the information went through well. I didn't finish all of the spacing settings. So as you can see here, we've still got the spacing issues. And that's pretty much it. It lists the product. You've got the condition here. The brand is branded. You've got the product's description. You've got the product's price. All that's left to do is for someone to buy this product and then you issue it from your supplier. Now let's talk about that for a second. How are we going to help with order automation as much as possible? So let me show you a neat little trick. And this is available through the AutoDS Dropshipping Chrome extension helper, as you see over here that I recommended in the beginning of this video. So what I'm going to do now is go to my orders. So I'm going to click on shipping orders and I'm going to click on this order over here. Now I want to issue this order to the customer. How am I going to do it the fastest way? First thing that I want to do is find this product on AutoDS. So that way I will easily find the source to this product. Go to the search bar on top, no matter what menu you're on. Crotchet, what was it, hook. So here's the product on AutoDS. I'm going to click on the supplier source link over here. Okay, so here is the product on Amazon or any one of the suppliers that you chose. So now I want to process this order. What I'm going to do first is of course, add it to my card, click on buy it now, and then I'll get to the customer information window where I have to enter all of the customer's information. Now, instead of adding it one by one, what I'm going to do is head back to the Facebook marketplace to the order details over here. And as you see here on top of the order details on Facebook, there is a copy with AutoDS button once again available through the AutoDS dropshipping helper Chrome extension. So make sure that you have it downloaded and installed. Then we're going to click on that button. Address copied. Now you're going to head to Amazon. Once again, add it to your cart, head to the checkout settings, and in the customer's address, you're going to have a paste button where you have the add a new address window. So get to the place where it says add a new address. And on top of that, you'll notice an orange paste button once again available through the AutoDS Chrome dropshipping extension. Click on paste and then all of the customer's details will transfer from Facebook to your supplier's checkout page where you've got the customer's address. So everything is going to be filled in automatically and it'll help you process your orders much faster this way. So use that, pass that information onto your virtual assistant and help yourself save that time and use that time to scale. Now, as you know, you've got the price and stock monitoring it's being done automatically for you you don't need to do anything but what i do recommend to do is to also enable email notifications if you want to get an email every time something is changing in the price or in the stock on your facebook marketplace store and it's just an fyi it's for your information you don't have to do anything because AutoDS is automating the price and the stock for you but it's always nice to know what's going on in your store so if you want to enable those email notifications on AutoDS, click on settings and then click on notifications here you want to enable the monitoring notifications that you see down here so the stock monitoring updates and the price monitoring updates 
notify to email make sure that your email address is written down correctly over here because this is the email address that's going to get those updates and then you're simply going to click on save that is all there is to it you'll also be getting those updates to your mail i hope that you guys found this video informational and that now you really know how to drop ship on the facebook marketplace from the moment where you create your AutoDS account to the part where you know how to find the best dropshipping products to sell. Once again, guys, no competition. Import high quality products that have good reviews, products that are trending in sales in the last 24 to 48 hours. Your suppliers should be able to give you that kind of information. Dropship only from US suppliers. And once again, I promise to talk to you guys about American dropshipping suppliers. So let's go over that really, really quick. I've got this article and I'm going to leave a link to it right below this video on the top nine American suppliers to use for dropshipping. Here you will be able to find suppliers to use for the Facebook marketplace who can ship out their products really, really quickly. Your customers will get their products on time. You can find trending products to sell, no competition, simply list the best selling products and you will be able to sell. So here's a list going on really quick. Wayfair, we've got Costway, Overstock, Walmart, Amazon, Costco, Home Depot, Target and Lowe's. And I want to add another one to that list. And that supplier is called CJ Dropshipping. They've got US warehouses, they've got POD, print on demand service. So you can really kill the competition, even though there is no competition yet. I've stressed that enough in this video on the Facebook marketplace, but still, this is one of the best US dropshipping suppliers that we have come across recently. And we've got a full article, as you can see here, on how to work with this supplier. So as you see, so much information to pass on. This video went on way longer than I expected. So this is where I'm going to end it. If you guys have any questions, things that I did not address in this video, let me know in the comments below. If you guys have any troubles or if you just want to say hi and thank you for all of this information, let me know right here below and I will personally answer your guys' comments. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. This is the kind of content that we are passing on to you guys. We really want to help you guys succeed. So let us know what's up. Let us know where you need help. Don't forget to join our Facebook group because there we have thousands of dropshippers who are helping other dropshippers succeed every single day. And that is simply what we're all about. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, enable those notifications and see you in the future videos. Good luck with Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. This is the time right now. Go ahead and get started.